few of us decided to take a tour to an island named James Bond Island. It's in the Andaman Sea and just a bit north of Phuket. Along the way to our first stop, we got to see some beautiful rock formations. Our first stop was at a hidden lagoon nestled between some giant rocks. Since this was a canoe tour, we slid into our canoes and hit the water. It was absolutely gorgeous once we got inside, if a little crowded with tourists. Our guide took us into one area that was a giant hole formed in the rocks. That was pretty cool, but the most interesting part was paddling underneath the narrow opening so that we could get back to the open sea. Yes. Here they go. And while we waited for the canoes to be loaded back onto the boat, we had a little bit of fun in the water. But soon enough, we were on our way to the next site. We stopped next at a mangrove forest. But before we could get there, we had to pass through another one of those narrow openings. This opening was a lot smaller than the other one, and we had to lay totally flat while our guide used the oar to push us through. <laughs> we made it through the opening safely and arrived to the tranquil beauty of the mangrove forest. Mangroves are trees and shrubs that grow all over the world in various conditions, but these mangroves grew out of the water. They're important for cleaning the water and provide shelter to small fish and animals. But for us, they were just beautiful. And at this site, we passed through some more really cool rock formations. To get back to the boat, we had to pass through another cool opening. Thankfully, this one was a lot larger. And even though our trip through the mango forest was gorgeous, I'll probably most remember our troubled boat. Our next stop was finally James Bond Island. Now, it has that name because in 1974, one of the scenes for The Man with the Golden Gun was filmed here. Since our tour was named after this island, I had kind of high hopes for the site. Unfortunately, it was pretty underwhelming. The island was very small, packed with tourists, and not much different from anything else we'd already seen. From there, we hopped onto a long tail boat for a ride to a fisherman village. I thought that we might see some people fishing or bringing in the day's catch, but we didn't see much more than some tourist stalls selling the same trinkets found everywhere else in Thailand. Oh well, at least the scenery is nice. All around my head, because I don't want bats to poo on my head. Because there's a lot of bats, and he warned us about bat poo. <laughs> I'd rather have a bat poo filled towel. <laughs> yep, you heard that right. Bats. We were going to another one of those hidden lagoons, but to get there, we had to pass through a cave that we were told was filled with bats. Well, I was disappointed not to see a single bat. Sandy might have had a different opinion, but I was hoping to at least hear one. And no one should be surprised by now to learn that we had to pass through another narrow opening to get into the lagoon. This one wasn't too bad, though, since we could at least sort of sit up to pass through. And once again, the scenery was gorgeous inside here. We took a little trip around the area and then started to head back to the boat. And even though we were on our second canoe by now, this one had some problems also. So our boat's not exactly seaworthy. <laughs> yeah. Started out dry. And pretty soon, we were going back through the bat cave, heading to the boat. You know what? Still no bats. But then the tour was over, and it was time to go home. 
We all had a lot of fun and made some great memories, so I consider this tour a huge success. Thanks for stopping by.